Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be working more with the print function, the built-in function print. So let's just get started. We're not even going to work with variables. Alright, so we already know this. Now Let's look real close at this. So, all right, this is, and I'll, I'll just go through this. All right, when you have something, an argument that has an equal sign, these are pre, predefined and optional. This is the information that is the argument that we're going to put into, but these things are already preset. We're going to talk really about the, um, the end the end option right here for a second. So what the, this means is here, we'll just get started and I'll show you. We'll stick with the double quotes. Um, so what that character means is to go down to the next line. So at every end function, it automatically has built in as an option, a default. You've heard me say those words before, a default of the next line. So, all right, let's say you want to have these, you're in your function and you're building something. suppress and we'll go forward oops we gotta close this out the way you do this is you assign this to blank spaces so um, you know, we need to have this in a function then so all right no this we do our optional and then we pick up here and then we go um, nice to and then we pick up medium so So let's just go through, and I should open up a script to do this, but we just did this real quick. So all right. So the way that you do, the way that you read this is, like I said, whenever we do, we call the print function. These items are pre, preset the default for um, end and separation. We won't run. We're going to talk about that. So what I did right here is I over, overrode and um, I negated the default of go to the new line like I showed you right here that's the character for a new line and it's already set as to go down to the next line after because if I don't put any information it goes prints a blank line or a return just like here go down to the next line now now I'm going to show you a way to get it to print out so you don't have to do anything goofy like this and you can print out exactly the way you want it to be. No, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. And then, ooh, and I'll show you this. I'll show you a tab, what a tab looks like. And then tab. So, all right. Python will grab all these characters. So, and when you do the double quotes, excuse me, triple quotes, it is going to do exactly like 
you want. And actually, let's put this in a variable so you can see it. So you can really see it. All right. here is of course the spaces white spaces were our spaces now that is our space more spaces and these are two tabs so if I were to print this just drop in X I get it the exact way that I typed it here so this is a little bit of a crash course on the print function the built-in print function in Python and uh, trying to put all this stuff in one place because I've had to piece all this together in my learning. So um, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.